Hi guys, in this video you will learn how you can send the approved field data from content snare to your slack channel as a new message. So guys here we are connecting content snare as our trigger application. So content snare is a data collection tool. So if you are collecting data using this application and you want to send the data to your slack channel, you have to connect slack as the action application in the automation workflow. And after that, as you are going to approve any data of any field here in content snare, the approved data will be delivered as a new message in Slack automatically. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect and you can set up this automation very easily without any coding. Let me show you how. So this is the landing page of Pavli Connect guys. And we have pasted this link in the description as well. From here by clicking on sign up free button, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks to set up your automation. Okay, so sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So guys, here you have to create a workflow for that. Just click on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So I am giving the name here as a content snare. to slack automation so after giving the name just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready okay and here you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so in the trigger we are going to connect the trigger application so the trigger application is that application in which any event is going to occur and that is going to start this workflow okay and the action would be the response towards the trigger application okay so first of all you can see we are going to connect here content snare in the trigger because in content snare we are going to approve any field and that event is going to act as a trigger event and the action towards that trigger would be to send a slack message so search for content snare here and in the trigger event you have to select field approved options you can see we can trigger this workflow for all these options right now i am selecting field approved okay select it and here it will give you this webhook url so with the help of this we are going to make a connection with content snare and after that we are going to capture the response of this webhook connection okay so you can just uh, follow these instructions written here to make this connection let me show you directly how you can do that so uh, this is my content snares uh, dashboard and I am under a uh, you can see this is a request I have received from my client of this questionnaire branding questionnaire let me sh I'll show you it la this later first of all just click here on this profile icon and from here click on settings under settings page you will find this integrations tab under integrations when you scroll down you will find this webhook section here you have to click on this add a new webhook button and a new field will appear like this okay so erase this field go back to your workflow copy this workflow you are a uh, webhook url and paste this webhook url here in this field like this okay and here it is asking send the following events to this webhook so here it is asking on which event do you want to send the data from content snare to your workflow so I want that whenever a field is approved, the data should be transferred. So I'm selecting field approved uh, checkbox here and then click on update. Okay. And you can see a new webhook was success successfully updated here. Right. So here you can see as I have copied this webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. Okay. This means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means we are going to manually approve a field here from the request section okay and the uh, data of that approved field will be captured here so guys here you can see in my content snare I have this request tab all right and here you can see this is a request I have received from my client named as Sujata okay and I have asked some questions according to the branding uh, to this client and I have received the answers so I am clicking on review request and these are the answers I have received like the phone number, the company name. Okay. And here's the company website. 
here we have all these uh, answers also brand attributes okay these are already approved here you can see this is this is the question i have asked which color do do and don't represent your uh, brand so this person only answered blue so this uh, so i am going to approve this uh, content that i have received okay so i am going to click on approve button here you can see so i have approved this field this is the field that i have approved now let's check in our workflow if we got the date of this approval or not here you can see we have received the data it is showing the name of the field you can see the question i have asked this is the instruction text and here you can see the status is approved the values received is this blue okay the answer is this this is the sections name this is the pages name all right and here you can see all other details the client's full name the client's email id is also here so that's how you can receive the data now guys i want to send this data as a message to my team on slack so here in this action step you have to search for slack here it is connected and here in the action event guys select this option send channel message okay then click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with slack here it is asking for the token type so here we have two token types to make this connection with slack user and bot so for both of these token types we have different kind of permissions access permissions so to want to know about the slack tokens you can just click on this here word and you will reach the forum page of babli connect so here you will find the permissions according to the token types you can see when you use user you will get all these permissions and when you use bot you will receive these permissions so here i am going to use user as the token type okay and then click on save all right and it will bring you to this window from here you have to provide some uh, permissions to pavli connect so from here click on allow okay and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected here it is asking for the channel's name so this is my channel's name guys you can see the name of my channel is pavli team okay so i'm going to select this channel from this drop down you can see the list of all the channels you, i have and from here i'm selecting pavli team and here it is asking for the message so here let me type a standard message for my team to send the approval field messages content to my team okay so guys i have typed this message for my team you can see hi team we've got a new field approval approved from content snare the details are as follows so here i want to share with my team the approved fields name the approved data the pages name the pages section so i'm going to use this data that i have received here as a test data uh, in the trigger step okay so here i'm going to map this data here in this message so to map it you just have to click here on this approved field option and here it will show this content snare option in the drop down this is the trigger step and from here you can map the uh, approved fields name let me see the approved fields name here is the name or the question that i have asked just map it okay and you will find the approved data also this is the data that my client has filled map it now for the pages section pages name just scroll down and you will find the page name here this is the page name similarly you will find the section name okay this is the section name and the client's name here is the client's name and the client's email all right so this is the client's email so when you map this data guys what will happen in real time after setting up this automation as and when you are going to approve any field in content snare these labels are going to be updated automatically and you will receive a new a fresh message with the new data uh, in your slack channel okay so that's why it is important to map the details here okay and here it is asking for all these image url and text but we are not sending any image so you can leave these all these fields blank we are not sending any link as well okay we don't have any links so i do not want to reply broadcast also 
So we are done mapping the required details here. Now you can check your connection with Slack by clicking on save and send test request and you will receive a new message here like this. Okay. So this is an old message. Let us check our connection with Slack. I am clicking on save and send test request. And here you can see this is the response we have received and we got a new message here. You can see hi team. We have got a new field approved from content snare. This was the question. This is these are the answers of the content and that's how it is going to work and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything in this workflow after that you just have to review the request that you are receiving here in content snare and approve the approve or disapprove the fields and the approved data will be delivered to your team as a new message automatically. And guys, if you want to use this workflow, you can use it because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.